let me show you how you can use any Sony camera as a USB webcam. As you can see, I'm using it directly over USB without any stupid capture cards or any other expensive setup. First, we need to download this software, Imaging Edge Webcam, from the official Sony page. So simply search for that. It works on Windows and Mac. Also, you can see a list here of all the cameras this will work with. Okay, then on the camera itself, there are a few things we need to do before this will work. So first, you actually need to verify that you have the latest firmware uh, on your camera installed. So you can go to the setup menu on the ZV-1 at least on the uh, page 5 basically you can check your firmware version so by default ships is firmware version 1 and if you try to use this uh, as a webcam it simply won't work so you have to update it so if your uh, camera is not working i have a video on how to update these uh, cameras so this function actually actually works okay next in the settings navigate to your network settings okay then select this control with smartphone and make sure this is off, so by default it's always on pretty much on most uh, Sony cameras. So then we also need to go to this PC remote function and make sure to turn this on as well. Okay, then we need to connect the camera to our computer basically and this is where a lot of people actually fail because they use a wrong cable for this. For example, if I use the cable that came with my camera, it simply won't work. And I have even the older style uh, like micro USB. And for this ZV-1 at least I need to use this micro USB uh, to actually type C. So I have a converter here so I can, I can use my old cable. If you have a Type-C on your camera as well, then it won't, won't really be a problem and you can connect directly from Type-C to Type-C. And again, if this is not working for you, check your cable again, maybe try another cable or use an adapter like this. So I'm actually connecting directly uh, with uh, Type-C on my computer instead of the regular USB, as that can transfer way more data. And once connected, it should start working pretty much instantly. As you can see, it works pretty much perfect on mine. And also we can easily use this camera in OBS as well. So I can add new camera basically in your capture device. Okay, then select your Sony camera, Imaging Edge. Okay, click OK. And as you see, it starts to work again pretty much instantly and we can do whatever we want to. Also, if you're not using any third party software and this something is not working for you and you can't see your camera, you can go to your Windows settings, click on Bluetooth devices, uh, then go to the cameras and uh, click on this integrated camera uh, and there will be a tab to disable it. As you can see, I have already disabled it. Otherwise, it might actually take the integrated camera I have here. So basically, when you click on it, there will be this tab to disable it here. And make sure the only camera you have remaining is this Sony camera Imaging Edge and it should work perfect now. Anyway, good luck.